Once upon a time, on Bintan Island, the Riau Island, there lived sea tribe led by Bating Langoy. The leader of this sea tribe is a virtuous and fair leader. His gentle speech toward anyone made the people of the sea tribe love their leaders very much. To find out the state of his people, Bating Langoy constantly goes around. One day, Bating Langoy was walking along a beach that surrounded with pendant shrubs. The deep ear of Bating Langoy catches sound of a baby crying. Whose kid was crying in the place like this? He felt astonished as he looked around. Since he sees no one, Bating Langoy goes on ahead. After just a few steps, Bating Langoy again heard the sound of a baby crying which was now getting clearer. Batin Lagoy returns to look around, but he doesn't see anyone there. Curious, Batin Lagoy's heart followed the cry that brought him to the pendant shrub. Batin Lagoy steps on that bush carefully. The sound of baby crying grew louder. Batin Lagoy was astonished to see the baby girl placed on top the leaf that was now in front of him. Feelings of surprise ambushed Batin Lagoy. Who put the baby here? He mumbled softly. Batin Lagoy was silent for a moment. After making sure no one was around, Batin Lagoy decided to bring home that beautiful baby girl. Then the baby stopped crying as Batin Lagoy left her. Batin Lagoy takes care of that baby girl lovingly like his own. Sometimes he felt that the baby was indeed given by God for him. The baby girl, who was named Putri Pandan Berduri, really brought happiness to Batin Lagoy, who had been living alone. Many young men were captivated by the beauty of Putri Pandan Berduri. Even so, no one dared to propose her. Batin Lagoy hopes that the, her daughter will be destined for the son of a king or leader of a region. There once was the leader of the Galang Island who had two sons, named Julela and Jenang Perkasa. The brothers have always lived in harmony, but the harmony vanished when the father said that as the eldest son, Julela would replace himself as the leader of Galang Island one day. Since then, Julela has become arrogant. He even threatens Jenang Perkasa to follow his words as a potential leader. Jinang Parasa was bitterly disappointed in his brother's attitude. Eventually, he decided to leave the Galang Island. For this, he left without knowing where to go until he arrived at Bintan Island. Jinang Parasa has never claimed to be son of the leader of Galang Island, so he worked as a day trader like most people. As a newcomer, Jenang Parasa was quick to adjust. His courteous manner and refined way of speaking amazed everyone. They could not understand how an ordinary young man could possess such a trait. As a result, Jenang Parasa became the topic of discussion throughout the island. The story of Jenang Parasa reached Batin Lagoy's ears. He was eager to get to know the young man in person. To avoid being inconspicuous, Batin Lagoy organized a dinner event by inviting all prominent figures on Bintan Island. He also invited Jenang Perkasa to the event. Jenang Perkasa, who was actually wondering why he had been invited by Batin Lagoy, came to the invitation. Since his arrival, Batin Lagoy has always paid attention to the movements of Jenang Perkasa. Batin Lagoy silently observes how to behave, speak, even to eat. It's undeniable that Batin Lagoy was very impressed with Jenang Perkasa. His heart arose to match Jenang Perkasa with her daughter Putri Pandan Berduri. Batin Lagoy seems to have forgotten his desire to marry his daughter to a prince or future leader. Not to waste an opportunity, 
Batin Lagoy soon approaches Jenang Perkasa. Young man, it's been a long time I heard you to find a man. He said opening the conversation. Jenang Perkasa just smiled politely at the words of the Bintan Island leader. Tonight, I have proven it myself, continued Batin Lagoy, staring at Jenang Perkasa who looked down embarrassed at Batin Lagoy's praise. I thought, how happy would my heart be if you were willing to marry my daughter? Jenang Perkasa was surprised at Batin Lagoy's over. He rubbed his arm to make sure he wasn't dreaming. Little did he know that the father of the beautiful woman named Putri Pandan Berduri asked for his willingness to be a son in law. Wouldn't want to waste that golden opportunity, he quickly nodded in agreement and smiled at Batin Lagoy. A few days later, Batin Lagoy married Putri Pandan Berduri to Jinang Perkasa. A big party was held to celebrate the marriage of his only daughter. All Bintan Island residents are invited to attend. The crowd was delighted to see Putri Pandan Berduri paired with Jenang Perkasa that looked so well together. Putri Pandan Berduri lives happily with Jenang Perkasa, especially not long after Batin Lagoy, who felt he was old, appointed his son-in-law to replace himself as a leader of Bintan Island. Jenang Perkasa, who was the son of a leader, apparently inherited a talent. He is able to become a leader who is respected and loved by his people. He refused to turn when Galang Island residents heard about the story about him to replace his older brother. The marriage of Putri Pandan Berduri with Jenang Perkasa was blessed with three children who were named with tribal customs. Batin Mapoy becomes the chief of the tribe in the west of Bintan Island, and Kelong becomes the chief of the tribe in the east of Bintan Island. As for their native tribal custom, the sea tribe remains the guide to them. Until now, Putri Pandan Berduri and Jenang Perkasa, who have long been lost, are still remembered by the sea of tribe in waters of Bintan Island.